So we're on the morning of day three. Water features plugged in and running, and that stream looks awesome. Just wait till you see it. There's a sneak peek. Getting ready to put this, attach the liner to the front of our biofalls. So this is the biofalls right here. Hold the liner up, make sure there's no wrinkles, make sure there's good slack here, which is really important because often, if this one's tight, when you start putting rocks in here, it starts pooling on, the, on that seam right there, which is never good. I always like to make sure I've got plenty of slack right there, get this situated. And I actually like to turn these inside out. Like, you can put them on like this, but I like to put them in like this. And then what I do, because that liner doesn't want to bend, obviously, around that snout, I just cut a little slit right on the corner, just like that. Ah. Okay, put a good bead on this thing. Good, easy peasy. Running all the screws. Another thing I did with this bio falls is, uh, so this is the frame rock for our falls. And it's kind of natural, like at first thought, you kind of want to put the biofalls right behind it like this, but then that kind of makes it a bit obvious, a little tougher to hide the plastic. So instead of installing this plate right here with the biofalls right here, we just turned it back in and set it in behind this frame rock. So the entire biofalls is completely hidden from the viewing area by this frame rock, which is cool, I think. <laughs> Another thing, like you gotta be really careful that you don't get any wrinkles in the line of there. That causes issues. Ah, Ben, your cousins showed up. <coughs> oh yeah, they, they like it. Water is officially going in. Skimmer is in after a frantic mad dash that took the entire team. So now we're taking a coffee break. Oh my, look at that Tim Hortons endorsement just coming right up. Christopher, you're the new YouTube star. Mm -hmm. Means I lose my spot? Unfortunately, yeah. After a poll, Christopher edged you out. All Ben does is keep on working. Welcome to the end of day two. We have officially just set a new Tusky landscaping record, which is a 16 by 21 koi pond with a 12 foot stream in two. Dos, doy, days. It's because I was here. I came for the last two That's hours. That's right. He was here for 15 minutes and brought us cups of coffee. Oh Woo! yeah, there we go. That's what we're talking about. It's even about. Tim Hortons. That's right. But anyway, let's go take a look at this stuff over here. Lights just came on. Skimmer is right there. 16 by 21 koi pond. I think my favorite part of this whole pond is how it just comes, it goes around the corner of that border and you can't see the edge over there. It just kind of creates that sense of mystery that makes you want to walk over here. Ah, now I can see in there. So anyway, give you a tour of this stream dry here. This is going to be the bottom falls. It's going to be pulling up right there in that, where that little spotlight is. Really turbulent, a lot of water and gushing out over that crevice right there. And that's going to break off clean right there gonna swirl around the rounded point of that little rock right there. Up here is just gonna be a real slow and low uh, ripple over this boulder. That's gonna be a nice little sheet falls there and I love that deep canyon coming through here. And then that top waterfalls is probably the best, I think. It has a multi-layered look to it. It's gonna come out of the biofalls. Notice how we hit the biofalls. We, this is the left frame rock of this waterfall and we turn the biofalls and hit it completely behind that frame rock so you literally won't be able to see the biofalls at all when you're standing down in the viewing area. And it's gonna fall out right there, pull up right in there, and it's gonna come gushing out of this little crevice right here, full blown white water. So I'm pumped. Can't believe we did this in two days and uh, can't wait to get this thing running. I think I'm gonna hang out here until we actually get this thing running. He actually made some chili for us, so we need some dinner. And hopefully in about an hour or so, this thing will be ready to plug in and I'll get some night shots of it yet even. What do you say, Jeremy? I should have done this a long time ago. <laughs> I love it. So what you're saying is don't let life pass you by. Should have done it a long, long, long time there ago. There you go. And we got plenty of room to expand. Yep, that's right. Yeah, so, you know, back to that earlier conversation about when we had the pond out there, what do you think now? You see it for a day, you see it go in. Now that it's raining, 
It's a perfect location. Yeah, because you yeah. can enjoy it. We right? can stand here and be dry and, and look at it. And yeah, you're right. Yeah, you, you guys were right. And middle middle of the yard is not the best place for it. Pretty much. That's you know, suck it right up to where yep. you spend your time. Yeah, this is perfect. Awesome, good job, man. I love it. Thank you guys you, did a great job in <laughs> record time. Two days. <laughs> I'm, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm exhausted watching you. Yeah, yeah, if they great. told us when we came down we need to wrap this up in two days, we probably wouldn't have Oh, you wouldn't have do done it. it. What do you mean, like, huh? Well, re realistically, because of the logistics, we worked Saturday pulling this all, getting everything oh, here. So yeah, three you, know, days. you know what I'm saying? It's more no, of you're right. honestly yep. it is yeah, to right. look at the length of days you guys put yeah. in. Plus, we worked until yeah. 5.34, yeah. 5.45 last night, that's, and now it's six something. That's right. not to minimize what, what, what happened here in two days. It's still a I feat. Yeah. And, yeah. and you put all that rock, a trailer full of rock, in one little spot. That's right. Ready to plug this thing in? Well, come over here and do the honors. Actually, it's already plugged in. All you need to do is touch the little power button right on top there. Where? This one? The, so yep. this, this increases flow now? Yeah, oh, yeah. wow, okay, so I'll be able to adjust it. Yep, there you go. There it comes. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is awesome. Congratulations. That's great. <laughs> I love it. That is just beautiful. I can't wait to see it in the morning. Oh yeah, what an operator. So we are on the morning of day three and uh, had a good bit of rain again last night so it is really sticky and muddy. But we're uh, slopping our way through it and I got the plants in the ground, water features plugged in and running and that stream looks awesome. Just wait till you see it. And time to mulch. Just got the bed edges cut in here. There's a sneak peek. So how did this journey start with you, uh, wanting a koi pond? You know, I've, I've always really wanted one, I think probably since high school. Um, you know, it just wasn't something that I thought I could do, you know, the quality, do the way that I wanted. Um, and if you're gonna do something like this, you want it to be nice. Yeah. You know, I think my fear was to have a, 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 a you know, hole in the yard that was full of algae and, in green water and you couldn't see anything. Yeah, you bring up a valid point because there's some things that DIY makes sense. You know, I do the same thing in my house, but then there's some things where you just gotta be smart enough to know like, okay, this is not something I'm gonna DIY. Because all you're gonna do is, you're gonna spend money, you're gonna spend time, and you're gonna come up with a less than desirable. One of the things that I say at work is stay in your lane. Yeah. You know, in, in finance, we, we have a lot of people who think they may have an idea of this or that, and, and I'm no expert at other things, so, you know, Stay in your lane. Yeah. If you think you can can do it, give it a shot. But you know, again, something like this, too big to tackle. What you guys in two you guys did in two days would have taken me two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understood. There's just no way I could have done it yeah. the same way. You know, I was really surprised when I after I got the email from Derek and he said you guys were willing to come to Wheeling. Um, you know, I sent the email and just kind of held my breath. But I thought, eh, we'll give it a shot. You know, I had seen what you guys with Greg on on Facebook and then on YouTube, and that's really why I made the call because I was able to see what you did. What would be your word of advice to somebody uh, considering putting one of these in? To me, it's all about money and how you're going to pay for it. So my thought is to see what your budget is, um, talk to somebody you know at your bank, you know, decide what the best way for you to do it is in your position. That may be a combination of cash, you know, maybe a home equity loan. You know, those vehicles are great for people to access some, some money that, that they may not have even thought of. So no regrets of spending the money? Not at all, you know, um, not, not at all. And, and I think being home, you know, this, this summer, is even more reason that, yeah. that I think it was time to pull the trigger. A lot of people have told us that, like they, they just like, they were doing a project in the backyard because they want to spend more time at home, you know? So typically on a, on a Saturday night, you know, there'll be several families here with kids and running around. You know, it hasn't been that way this year. Yeah. And, and, and that's okay, there's always next year. You know, what it's gonna do, it's gonna allow us to kind of hang out here on the patio. Kids can still play in the, in, 
three quarters of the yard that's still there. And now we've got, you know, the, the water feature for everybody to, to, to play in. And, and, and I think that'll keep them, them pretty busy. Thanks again for the opportunity to work for you, Jeremy. Good, you're coming down. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Thanks so much for all your hospitality. Oh, here we have it. This water feature is done. I can't believe how fast it went together. I'm absolutely thrilled how the stream turned out. I'm gonna shoot some beauty shots here real quick for you. That low, slow, deep, slow moving water. I just love that. I just love when it was sunken down in deep, eroded out. But anyway, uh, in the beginning, we were talking about where to put it, and originally Jeremy had uh, wanted to put it out in the middle of the yard. Then we ended up putting it over here against the patio, because I, as I always say, you're considering putting one in, put it where you naturally spend most of your time, on the patio. Plus it's closer to the kitchen dining window and all that. So, thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit that subscribe button and the Ben like button. Yeah. That would be the like button. Is, can you, is that all the enthusiasm you can muster? That's a sure way to get me to not subscribe to your channel or like it. <laughs> <laughs>